Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Cleaning with Carrie. So today's video is going to be a cleaning marathon. I just combined some of my favorite cleaning videos together to bring you lots of motivation today. What's also really fun about this video is how much my house has changed over the past few months. So I hope you guys enjoy and I hope today's video gives you all the motivation you need to tackle your messes. I did my best to edit out the intros of the videos, that way it wasn't super repetitive with me saying like, hey, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Um, but I did try to not edit the videos too much and just share with you all of the videos combined in one. That way you don't have to keep clicking off to find new videos. All right, so starting in the master bedroom, I'm going to start by taking off the sheets and the blankets, and I'm going to go ahead and wash these. Um, this is very important if you have dogs, especially if they're allowed on your furniture or on your bed. Um, the dog scent will start to linger, so the bedding and anything fabric is really, really important to wash weekly. Um, so that is the number one tip I have. Anything that is able to be washed, wash it every single week. Just make it a routine thing, um, and this definitely cuts down on the dog smell. Also, cleaning the dog's bed. Um, this is something I do once a week as well. I vacuum out their kennel and around it. Um, it gets bad so fast. Our dog, Honey, she is the big black um, pit bull and lab mix. She sheds probably worse than any of the dogs, and you can see all of her hair right here. Um, she leans up against the kennel and kind of like scratches her back <laughs> against it, and all of her hair falls behind here. So like I said, I have to vacuum this every single week. Um, if I could vacuum it more, I definitely could, but to be honest, it's just not something I do on a regular basis. This is a once a week thing. Boy, it's been a while since we talked. And my head's getting nervous I can't handle this on and on I can't know I just gotta know where you are If I want to remain sane But you're close and every text and call Oh no You could be running off with somebody else So I was just quickly wiping out their kennel using the Mrs. Myers cleaner, um, but I do recommend using something that's safe for your pets, like a Dawn and water mixture. Um, you can use vinegar and water as well. A lot of people recommend using that for dogs. Um, but if I'm being honest, I'm just not a fan of using vinegar to clean with. It's just not something we like at all. <laughs> like, I will gag. <laughs> I have such a strong sense of smell, and I bought some the other day, and I was like, you know what, I'm going to test it out, see how well it works. Y'all, I sprayed way too much. I could not get the smell out of my house. It was miserable. <laughs> so just be careful if you're going to use it. That's all I'm going to say. Um, but now I'm just taking baking soda. This is my go-to for the carpets and the couch. This really does help deodorize it, and I love it. It's safe. I don't have to worry about the kids stepping on it or the dogs. Um, and I just sprinkle everything and let that sit. And now I'm going to go ahead and get the shower going because we're going to bathe all three dogs today. All right, so Zoe would not come, so I started with Honey today. Honey actually really enjoys a shower. She'll walk right in here on her own. She loves to get scrubbed down. Um, she's definitely a water baby. Uh, she's always went swimming with us and played in the water hose. <laughs> um, but the other two, they will run and hide if you even mention a bath. <laughs> it's so funny. So I start with Honey, and I am using baby wash to wash the dogs. Um, this is what I always use. It seems to make them smell the best longer and um, I don't really have to worry about it hurting them. It's, it's really gentle. I mean, if you can use it on your baby, I feel like you can use it 
on your dog. So that's what I use. And to wash her face, I use like baby wipes or a washcloth with warm water on it. And I just use that to clean their face. I don't put any soap around their eyes or anything like that. And then I make sure I dry them very well before I let them out of the shower. So it does help that I have the tall glass, um, you know, shower doors that keeps all the water and all the dog hair. This dog, man, I'm telling you, out of all the dogs, she sheds the worst. It is so bad. You can like see the piles at the bottom of the shower whenever I bring Zoe in. So I also wanted to share with you guys that I only bathe our dogs once a month um, and sometimes a little longer just depending on if they aren't stinking or not. So your dogs have like natural oils in their skin and if you bathe them, if you over bathe them, you will strip those oils out and they will actually kind of get irritated and it will make them smell worse. I feel like... I don't know. I don't know what it is, but it does. This has worked. Um, I started this really early with Zoe. I didn't bathe her that often. And then I started it with Little as well because, honestly, she really never stinks. She's a, such a small dog. Um, but Honey, on the other hand, I overbathed her at first. And then I realized after doing research that I was overbathing her and I kind of had to train her back into not washing her as often. So to do that, I would just recommend pushing back a week. So if you're used to bathing your dogs like once every two weeks or something, try to push it back to like once every two and a half weeks or once every three weeks. Um, and this will eventually get their oils back and their pH balance back and they won't smell as bad. Um, so now to bathe little she is the hardest to bathe. She fights against me. She's not happy. <laughs> um, and she's a grumpy little dog, y'all. <laughs> but I love her. She's a part of the family. And even though she doesn't come out often, she is my baby. And I do love her very much. Um, but she is, she's the most dramatic when it comes to the shower. She lets me know she does not like it. All right, so I didn't film this part, but after I dry the dogs, I try my best to dry them as best as I can, but they are still kind of wet, and they'll have like that do that wet dog smell until they're fully dry. So I put a clean towel at the bottom of their kennel, and they all lay together. They each get to have a treat for being good, and um, after putting them in there, I usually go change my clothes because I'm usually soaking wet by the time I bathe little. <laughs> so I went ahead and sprinkled the carpets with baking soda, and while they are drying, I work on cleaning off the couch and the carpets and all of that good stuff. So it gives them time to dry and it gives me time to get all this cleaned up. By the way, I wanted to mention that this vacuum I will link below if you're interested. I am very impressed with the suction power of this thing and the fact that it held its suction power even after all this baking soda. So usually the filters get clogged on my old vacuums and this one did not. Um, obviously it was full and you'll see me clean it at the end of the video, but it definitely held its power throughout 
the entire couch cleaning and all the floors. So I'm highly, highly impressed. And like I said, I'll link it below for you. You had me at a low. Cause where you go is where I go. I don't need nobody else I got you And you got me too You can ride out the blue I wanna do what you want to We can leave and run away Someday Someday Alright, so I went ahead and cleaned out underneath the couch as well, and this is something I do about once a month. Um, same thing with bathing the dogs and deodorizing the carpet. That is all a once a month thing. Um, I don't have to do it that often, and I think a lot of it's because we have pretty much all tile in our house. So we are um, lucky enough that the dog smell is not as bad as it would be if our whole house was carpet. Um, so definitely just keep that in mind if you are a, if your home has a lot of carpet. I would recommend doing this at least once a week. This will definitely help keep the dog scent out. Um, also, if your dogs um, usually don't lay on a dog bed or anything, um, find them a bed that they actually like or if you don't want to invest in a dog bed because they can be kind of expensive. And I don't know if it's just my dogs, but my dogs will eventually, they'll tear like holes in their dog beds at some point by like trying to make their bed. So sometimes I'll just give them like an old comforter that we no longer use and that works great as well. So giving them something other than the carpet to lay on will help set that, you know, barrier between the dog smell and the carpet. So, um, and then you can just wash that blanket every week. Um, like their dog beds that they have right now, I can't throw those in the wash machine. They will tear apart. So I actually prefer giving my dogs an old blanket over a dog bed. But since we just got their dog beds for like Christmas, um, we're just using them for now. Um, and then as far as like the pillows go, I just you know, vacuum them really well and I spot clean the ones that can't be um, washed and I do the same thing for their dog beds. I once felt I'm done with the defense, throw back and climb over your fence, hide to show, show you that I was a man. your shoulders and closed off that's what i told you soon enough everything started to change there's no going back no going back there's no going back to your own life Not living in the past we're over that i'm feeling it tonight riding on the dizzying high
after finishing up vacuuming the living room, the dogs are fully dry, so I usually let them out to use the bathroom, and then I come in and I wipe out their kennel one more time. Um, and this is just to get rid of any of that wet dog smell that might linger, and I add their dog bed back to their kennel, and voila. It's all nice and fresh and clean, like it's brand new. And Honey always loves this part. Like, as soon as I throw her bed in there, <laughs> she's like the first one to hop in there real quick. Like, no one else is getting on my bed. Um, but now I'm going to move into my bedroom, go ahead and vacuum up my carpet since they have been sitting for a while, and then we will move on to the next task. I get so caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie That I die I can't hide So I'm going to do one last quick tidy up before I sweep and mop the main living space. So I do mop my house once every two days. Um, this is a must have for us or our floors will look horrible <laughs> um, with three dogs and two kids um, and obviously two adults. The house can get messy pretty quickly, especially the floors. So I usually vacuum them but I wanted to sweep them up so that way you guys could see just how fast um like the dirt and dog hair accumulates on our floor just so you know that this is real like I have three dogs and they are hairy I literally I'm not even exaggerating you guys I vacuumed and mopped my floors the day before filming this video so this is what is on my floor in one day Oh, look at all that dog hair. <laughs> I was not exaggerating. We have a lot of hair in our house. So like I said, I have to vacuum and sweep daily and mop at least once every two days. So I'm going to tackle just tidying up and cleaning off the island and then go ahead and get ready to mop the floors. You used to touch, I used to dream, we used to say you're the prince. Rewind for a while. Oh, hey. 
right, so after dog bathing day, I always make sure I clean the bathroom really well. So I sweep in there first, and then I also make sure I rinse and wash out the shower really good, or this bathroom would smell like dog for days. So first I sweep and get all that cleaned up, and then I move into the shower and I scrub it down. Um, right now, my favorite cleaner for the shower has been just your regular old Dawn dish soap. I love it. I probably will never switch to anything else again. I mean, obviously, I'll have to disinfect and, and use like my scrubbing bubbles and stuff here and there, but on a regular daily basis clean, I love the Dawn. So I get that done and then I go ahead and mop in here and now I'm going to move into my bedroom and make my bed. So um, I also thought it was really funny that so many people commented on how I don't use a flat sheet. Um, I haven't used a flat sheet in so long. Like it's just not my thing. <laughs> I honestly just get tangled up in it and we're just not flat sheet type of people. So y'all let me know in the comments below. <laughs> do you use a flat sheet or um, do you not care for one? So anyway, I'm just going to make my bed and then I'm actually going to move outside and clean up my vacuum and share with you how I do that. It was a thirsty night when I first saw you. Those green eyes caught me. Yeah, it was crazy. It was a Friday night when I first kissed you. It struck me like lightning. All right, before I move outside to clean out the vacuum, I wanted to share with you guys that I do clean out my dog's water bowl um, about once or twice a week. I rinse it out really well and scrub it down just to make sure there's no germs or anything um, and like build up building on the inside of the bowl. Um, you'll be surprised how nasty dog bowls get. So this is something I try to remember to do on a regular basis. Um, and then as soon as I wash out their bowl, like I swear they watch me and then they come running for like the fresh clean water. Um, and I also feed my dogs Iams dog food for those who have asked. This stuff is crazy expensive, but due to some health issues with one of our dogs, we are trying out this dog food to see how it works. Um, and now I just wanted to show you how the vacuum was looking. And so I'm going to go ahead and clean it out and share with you how I do that. Um, and honestly, this is kind of weird and random, but it works. And I've been doing it this way for a couple months and it has helped a ton. So I empty it out and I take it apart as much as I possibly can. And then I use an old vacuum to clean the new vacuum. So I use the um, hose to suck up the filter and just do the best I can to clean everything out and get all the dust and all that out. Um, and then I take a dryer sheet and whatever cleaner I have on hand um, closest to me, it could be water, it could be, you know, pine saw, whatever. Um, and I use the dryer sheet to dust and clean the um, vacuum and this not only cleans it but it makes it smell really good too and it just lingers and keeps it smelling nice and fresh so that's a little tip if you have dogs um, and try using a dryer sheet just to clean out the inside of the vacuum it picks up a lot of the dust and debris and you'll see it when i lay it down it is filthy it is like black <laughs> um, and that just goes to show you how much it picks up so I also, this is another tip, um, if your vacuum tends to smell pretty bad when you turn it on, take a dryer sheet piece, like rip a piece off and stick it where the filter goes. So I'll show you what I mean. Right here, I'm just ripping a piece off and sticking it right underneath where the little sponge filter is. And this keeps the vacuum smelling good for a couple days. So there's a little tip. Also, dryer sheets work really good for rubbing down your couch. Um, and then I also stick some fresh ones in between the cushions. That way if guests are coming over and they go sit down on the couch, they'll get like a poof of a laundry smell and it smells so good. <laughs> um, but that is going to be it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed for future uploads. Um, I appreciate you watching so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye y'all. Oh, you're so pretty. <laughs> you, you cuddling in your bed. Is it all clean? Is it all clean? It's all clean. Zoe, you better get out of there. That's her bed. Laying in your bed. Look at this shiny goat. Not very big. Quit, honey. Leave it be. Leave her alone. My sweet little. My sweet little. You used to touch. I used to dream. We used to say you're the prettiest I've ever seen so long ago.
So I wanted to go ahead and clear off this dresser because I knew I was going to be moving it to the other wall so I just laid all the stuff on the bed for now and I'm going to go ahead and dust everything, make sure everything's nice and wiped down. We were sanding in the bedroom and cutting things so there was a lot of like sawdust all over the room so I ended up having to wipe down everything. And I do know that his room is super tiny. Um, it is not ideal, but, you know, it it is what it is. We have to just work with what we have. So I am going to try and declutter his toys and just rearrange the room to where it functions better. It's just kind of cluttered. It has been really cluttered recently. And I've noticed that he really does not play with a whole lot of toys. He's really into his little cars um, and his racetrack. Um, and some of his trucks, but that's really it. Like he really doesn't play with a lot of the toys I had in here. So I went through, decluttered everything, um, and just pulled out the things that were kind of just making a mess for no reason. Um, and also getting rid of any toys that were really old, dingy, that were missing parts. So I went ahead and just tossed those. So while I was cleaning around the toys and moving the furniture around, I was trying to sweep as I go. That way it's not like so bad and we're not like walking through it. Um, you'd be surprised how much stuff you find behind furniture pieces, especially in kids' rooms. <laughs> it is so bad. Um, I don't even want to know what's under my couch right now. Like that's how bad it probably is. Like there's no telling. But I'm just using the broom to kind of sweep off the baseboards as well. Um, these have a pretty big like little lip on them and they collect a ton of dust. So I usually just um, use the broom to sweep it off. And I had Caden kind of scoot to the other side so I could finish sweeping. And once I get this cleaned up, I'm going to go ahead and move the dresser first because it's the biggest thing. And um, once I put it to this wall, I didn't mind that it didn't match as much. At first, I was thinking to myself, like, I'm totally going to have to redo this dresser again, and who knows, I might do it in the future, um, but right now I'm just going to leave it as is. But see what I'm talking about? All that stuff was behind that thing. <laughs> so I'm going to clean this up as well and start moving things around and seeing what I like best. So I finally figured out that the bookshelf worked best by his bed. Not only will it hold his toys and his books, but if he has a drink in the evening, he can set it on top of it as well. So it worked out perfectly. And um, at this point, I was trying to figure out which baskets I had that would fit under his bed. So we did make his bed a little higher up off the ground so I could order baskets. Um, these bins were a little too tall, so I ended up um, finding some that I had on hand. These came out of an old um, shelf that I got from a yard sale, and they actually matched the bed and looked perfect under there. So they will serve for extra storage for his toys, um, things that he can just kind of basically as a toy box. So I just put those under there 
And at this point, I was really loving the setup of the bedroom. So I just wanted to finish dusting and kind of organizing a little bit more. Boy, it's been a while since we talked And my head's getting nervous I can handle this on and on I can't know I just gotta know where you are If I want to remain sane But you're close to me, text and call Oh no You could be running off with somebody else So whenever I'm trying to clean and declutter, a lot of the times the kids are right under my feet making a mess as I'm trying to clean. But something that really does help is getting them busy. So if I notice that they're kind of getting in the way, um, not in a bad way by any means, but if they're just, you know, trying to pull out things, I will get them busy with something that they can help me with. So I will, you know, delegate jobs basically to my children and they love it. And also another fun thing to do is a scavenger hunt. Um, this is something that I recently seen, I think I'd seen it on in Instagram a couple months ago, but you can get on Pinterest and download the scavenger hunt games. And I'm telling you, my kids absolutely love them and they keep them occupied for a while. Um, so it allows me to get things done while they're running around the house having a scavenger hunt. So I decided to hang up this ladder on the wall that my mom actually gave me. Um, but I'm not sure if I love it or not. It's just kind of odd having a ladder on the wall, to be honest. I don't know. <laughs> but I needed something for that wall for now. I didn't have anything, and it's I'm not going to the store with two kids, especially to a home decor store. So I actually think I'm going to try to paint him some pictures. I think it would be really cool to paint some mountains for him. So y'all let me know in the comments below if you want to see me try and attempt to paint mountains. <laughs> Um, but I'm going to go ahead and give you a couple overviews and give you an official tour. All right, y'all. So I wanted to give you a little overview of his room now that it's all done. I am so happy with it. I think it turned out so, so cute. Um, it really does look like a little log cabin in here. And I don't know. I'm just super excited about it. So over here we have his dresser and his kitchen. Um, and then on this wall I have some decor I got from Hobby Lobby. Honestly, I really need to get some new stuff because... I'm just not loving it. And then I hung this ladder up up there just to kind of fill up this wall space because it was so plain. Um, and it matches his bed. So it kind of just tied in that wood color. But I am so, so happy with the way it turned out. The curtains are from Walmart, by the way. Rug is also from Walmart. These baskets um, actually came with a stand I got from a yard sale, but I didn't like the stand, so I just took the baskets out. And I really like those underneath his bed. They they go really well. Um, but I'll link some below that are similar to these if you want to check those out. But yeah, it just it looks so cute in here. It's much better than having his bed on the floor. So I'm glad we got it done finally. But y'all let me know what you think of his room down in the comments below. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is an extreme messy house clean with me. This was two days after we got back from our vacation, so our house was, whew, it was bad. But my husband and the kiddos are going to be helping us out today, or helping me out today cleaning, because the house was so bad that I just felt overwhelmed, to be honest. I mean, you know, it happens, your house gets out of control. Not everybody's, but some people, they let their house get out of control like this, <laughs> and mom, one of them. So we all worked together, tackled it. Um, we were on vacation for three days. So whenever we came back, we had suitcases and just crap everywhere that needed to be picked up. So we're going to tackle this mess. I'm going to play a little bit of music, and I'll hop on here and there and chat with you guys. Today I'm going to be trying out a new product. Um, I actually got this from Aldi the other day. We went there to grab dinner, and it's called Boulder Clean. They have multi fur oh my goodness, <laughs> multi-purpose cleaners. <laughs> they have multi-purpose cleaners, 
And they also have like a granite and stainless steel cleaner. The granite portion of that cleaner works great. I've been using it, but I don't like the way it cleans the stainless steel. Like my refrigerator and stuff, it doesn't work good. And why am I so weird? Look at what I'm doing. <laughs> my husband's like, babe, like just pick up the vacuum and I'm just pulling it by the cord. Yeah, I don't recommend doing that. But anyway, I've been trying those cleaners out and I really like the multi-purpose cleaner. The, like I said, the stainless cleaner is not that great. I'll keep using it and try it out a little bit longer, see if I can figure out if it's the actual towel that I'm using or what, but they were really inexpensive. Oh, I wanted to mention about the scent really quick. So I got the orange scent, um, and it smells really nice and fresh and clean. It's not overbearing. It It's a nice clean, so it doesn't, like, give you a headache. Um, and then the lavender one is the one I bought for the granite and stainless steel cleaner. And so far, I really love the smell of it. It's lavender, but usually I don't like lavender scented stuff, but that one smells really nice. So this is super random, but the table um, that we have is very old. A lot of people ask me where we got it from, and my, my dad actually bought it when we were kids from a yard sale, and a guy claimed that it was from England, and it was really old, which I do believe that, because this thing has, it's been, <laughs> it's been hard to keep it alive. Um, let's just say that. It got really wobbly, so we ended up having to add a board to keep it from like shaking back and forth. And I haven't painted it. And I always forget to paint it because it's just hidden underneath the table. And every time I film a cleaning video, I see it. And I'm like, why haven't I painted that yet? So I'm going to try to tackle that sometime this week. <laughs> So luckily for me, I didn't have a ton of dishes to do on this day, which is really rare. Usually my sink is overflowing. I can never keep up. Um, but I'm just going to wipe down the countertops really quick and then clean the dishes that are in the sink and put the, go ahead and load them in the dishwasher. And yeah, it's pretty gross in here. I know. Ugh. Like, 
I know I'm not the only one who has a nasty sink, so y'all don't try to pretend. <laughs> I'm just joking. Um, but yeah, this was caked on. We had some pizza rolls and stuff for lunch, and they exploded everywhere. But I'm going to clean this off, and then while I'm doing this, my husband is kind of vacuuming up the kitchen. I couldn't get a clip of us doing both things. So he was vacuuming while I was doing this, and then in just a moment, I will show you guys me cleaning the window and all that. Don't talk about it like you're crazy You know damn well I can't replace you Just say what, say what you mean Don't waste your time being mad at me Say what, say what you mean, say what you mean And you'll get, get what you need, get what you need What I do, what I do is try to give you more than words I say I quit, it's only cause it hurts We got play, we got places we can go to figure out What we've done, what we need, what to do Yeah, I got you, I got you, I got you The way you look at me is absent It's like you're walking through a labyrinth Just say what? What's going on? Don't waste your time being all alone Say what, say what you mean, say what you mean And you'll get, get what you need, get what you need What I do, what I do is try to give you more than words What I say, when I say I quit it's only cause it hurts We got play, we got places we can go to figure out What we've done, what we need to do yeah, I got you, I got you, I got you Don't play me, cause you're pushing me away Don't say to me, that we'll talk another day So, while he finished up cleaning that, I'm going to go ahead and clean the window because it was filthy. And I am using, once again, this Boulder Clean. It says it was a multi-purpose cleaner and that it worked on all surfaces with a streak-free shine. I don't believe that. Um, it was a little bit of streaks, but I just rubbed really well with the washcloth to, you know, remove the streaks. And someone once commented, I've seen this on someone else's video, someone said that any cleaner can be a glass cleaner. You just have to know how to wipe it. And I was like, let me try this out. Um, it's a little bit more hard work than just using like Windex or something, just to be honest. But it did work and it did make it clean. And we are not even going to talk about how messy the porch is right now. That's a project for a whole nother day. And if you think that's bad, wait till you see this room in about five, four, three, two, one. I definitely have my work cut out for me in this bedroom. It was, oh my gosh, so bad, so bad. And I thought that the living room was bad until I walked in here and I started filming. And I'm like, oh my goodness, this is embarrassing. But it's life. It happens. You know, I mean, it's not life for everybody. So when I say that, take that with a grain of salt. Like, I know that not everyone's house gets this bad. I am just one of those people. I'm just a messy. I'm just a messy person. I'm not going to lie about it. Like, it is what it is. I've always been this way since I was a kid. You can ask my parents, my family. I'm messy. But when I'm in the mood to clean and I'm in the mood to keep something clean, it will stay clean. So I have two sides of me. I have either the really organized, like, has it together carry, or I am the carry that just drops things wherever they land, and that's where they stay. Over the past couple years, I have tried to get a little bit better at picking up as I go, just to make my life easier, but, you know, on a, a week where I'm very busy and I have a lot on my plate, there's times where, you know, the house just gets out of control, and that's okay, because I end up tackling it anyway. There's always, tomorrow's always a new day. You can always try again tomorrow, and my plan originally was to have the house spotless, do a full you know, whole house clean with me before I left and the house would be beautiful when we walked in, but that's just not how it worked out this time. And that's okay. I still had a great vacation and I'm tackling the mess now. So at least it's clean. With my own two hands I'm 
met friends on the way, people chosen to make a stand. I felt strong in the sun as I walked on to Pastor's Green. Saw forgiveness together as bases in Places I've never been But you can walk through this world without a few punches upon your chin Okay, so this is actually the next day. By the way, when I do my cleaning motivation, um, my videos, they're usually filmed over the course of a few days because I have learned that if I want to keep my sanity, that I have to clean in sections. There's no way I can film an entire whole house clean with me like all in one day unless I have someone to help me out with the kids. It's just really impossible. I will basically kill myself trying to get it all done and it's just not worth it to me for a video, so I don't even bother anymore. I kind of just clean when I can and film it. I know a lot of you probably will understand that, and some of you might not appreciate that. I don't know. I'm just saying this is just how I do it. But this is the next day. I'm tackling the kids' rooms after a week of not cleaning them, and they're pretty bad. They do get messy pretty quickly, um, and I do require the kids to tidy up. On this particular day, obviously, I just went in there and cleaned it, so I didn't ask them to clean up before I went in there. So you're seeing it in its real life state. By the way, I wanted to mention that anytime I go into the kids' rooms to clean, I always take two bags. One is going to be for anything that I notice that the kids really don't play with anymore. I go ahead and toss in that bag, and that will be for donations or for my grandma's yard sale. And then the second bag is for garbage, broken toys, and things like that. I think I lost you somewhere between 20 and 23. But I still hold you dear despite the heartbreak you caused me Cause you were with me through my nights And you filled the darkness with shining lights yeah. Now moving in to my daughter's room. This room probably gets the worst out of both of the kids' rooms. I've mentioned this in previous videos, but usually if they play together, they go in her room because there is more room in here. My son's room is actually very small, so they don't have a ton of space. It's fine for him to just play in there, but for both of them, he usually brings a few toys in here and they play together. Um, also, I wanted to point out that my daughter did get a new bed. I got, yes, baby. <laughs> So a few weeks ago, my daughter's bed finally broke. The old one that we had, we've had for so many years. And before us, a family owned it. I don't even know what brand it is or how old it actually was. But all I know is that it was that particle board stuff. And eventually, the bolt area just got wore out and it just hit the ground. So we ended up having to find my daughter a new bed. And we looked online and we found a ton of day beds, but they weren't really what we were looking for. And then I found this one on Facebook Marketplace and my daughter loved it. So we ended up buying it and we only paid 150 bucks for it, I believe. Very inexpensive and it is great quality. I'm not sure of the brand. I wish I could tell you, but I, I don't know because it is used. But it made the room so much bigger and they got a lot more room in here now.
So it was right about this moment right here that I remembered that I never cleaned my camera lens and I knew it was dirty. Like I just had a feeling. Sure enough, look at this next clip, how clear and crisp it is. I was I felt bad that I forgot to clear it and I had already filmed all the footage and I was like, well, I, there's nothing I can do at this point. Sorry about that. That was a filming mistake on my part. But look at those vacuum lines, y'all. I don't ever vacuum anymore, really. I mean, I do vacuum, but I don't have carpet to vacuum often. But I love this rug because you can actually see the vacuum lines. I just like vacuuming. <laughs> um, but I'm going to vacuum the floors really quick. And then I'm going to wipe down her bathroom counter. Her toilet and her shower really didn't need to be cleaned. I just wanted to wipe down the sink. It's an area that we use daily. So I wipe this down, and then I'm going to mop her floors. And then that is going to be it for today's video. editing right now and this is this is who I get to edit with isn't it the cutest thing ever oh my gosh are you editing with me huh? I love you do you love your mama Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here today. My name is Carrie, and here on this channel I have lots of cleaning motivation. I do every now and then sprinkle in a little bit of decluttering and organizing, but it's mostly just your typical real life clean with me's, so I hope you enjoy and decide to stick around. Before you leave, all you have to do is hit that red subscribe button, it is completely free, and there's also an, um, an option to turn on all notifications, that way you will be notified when I upload. But today's video, I'm going to be focusing on the main living space and the master bedroom today, tackling the complete disaster because I was actually out of the house for two days this week, two days back to back, and this is what happens when I'm not home to kind of take care of the house. It just, it gets a little out of control. No big deal. We are going to tackle it together. So let's get started. Babe. Today I'm starting off in the kitchen and I will say that usually whenever I am not feeling motivated to clean, I usually start with these smaller messes first and work my way up. This always helps. It just kind of helps get me going when I am able to tackle one room really quick versus trying to tackle the big mess first. This is always the easiest way for me to get going. but. Today was a different story. I was unmotivated, 100% unmotivated, but I knew that I needed clean dishes. We were out. I went to bed last night with a sink full of dishes and no shame here. I was tired. I have been on the go the past two days and sometimes you just, mama just needs a break. So I left the dishes and I need to tackle these so that way we can at least eat for lunch because <laughs> there's nothing clean. Yeah, you better step into the light, just give it a try Think that it's time you let that spark out You've been hiding in the shadows way too long Than 
So while I was right in the middle of doing the dishes, I was almost finished and then it dawned on me that I still had dishes around the house. And this is something I always forget to do is grab the dishes and then I'll finish cleaning everything and turn around and realize that there's another pile of dishes. So I ran and grabbed those really quick. I threw those in the dishwasher and I'm going to quickly hand wash these pots, clean out my sink and start wiping down the countertops. All right, now that I got the dishwasher started, I'm gonna go ahead and start wiping down the countertops. And today I'm using this Boulder Clean Granite and Stainless Steel Cleaner. I've actually been using this quite a bit and I really love it for the granite. I don't love it for the stainless steel. I mentioned this in my last video, but I will be just using it up since I already purchased it. And it was really inexpensive from Aldi. I think it was like $149. Um, but it's a nice size bottle. It smells really good. And like I said, it works great for the granite. I was just about to take the coffee pot off of the counter when I realized how nasty it was. So I just quickly grabbed this Mrs. Meyers cleaner in the honeysuckle scent and sprayed it down and I'm going to wipe it down really good because it needed a good cleaning. I'm going to go ahead and start working on cleaning off the stainless steel appliances and I am using this boulder clean that I was telling you guys about just a little bit ago, but it does not work good at all for stainless steel. It leaves streaks so bad. Um, so I ended up going over it using the Wyman stainless steel cleaner, which works much better and it got all the streaks out and made them look brand new. Never up, never 
never down, never Like a flame in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do I never think, I always do Never thought I would Now moving on to the worst mess of all, the Kitchen Island. For some reason, this area has been a catch-all for the past couple days. Usually we're pretty good about um, keeping it cleaned off. I love it. It's like a focal point of my kitchen. But, you know, things get out of control sometimes. And we were printing stuff. We just had all kinds of stuff. It doesn't even make sense, all the things that are on the counter right now. They, they're just random things <laughs> that just accumulated up there. By the way, some of you may have noticed, I actually took um, the vase that was there with the pretty flowers and I moved that to my TV stand and I just kept it really simple with a bowl of apples and lemons just for that pop of color and I love it. I think it looks super inviting and warm, welcoming. It doesn't look fake and like staged, you know. I love the whole fruit bowl thing. I think I'm definitely going to keep that on the island for a while. All right, so after getting the countertops all wiped down and clean, I'm gonna move on to cleaning off the back sliding glass door. And I wanted to hop on and mention this really quick because it's gonna probably be a little weird, but I always use the Sprayway glass cleaner. It is my favorite cleaner for glass or mirrors. It works wonderful, but I couldn't find mine. It was missing. So I just grabbed a like bucket and I filled it up with a little bit of warm water and one drop of Dawn dish soap and I scrubbed the window down and wiped it clean with a paper towel and it looked brand spanking new. We do have a ton of scratches on our sliding glass door from the dogs but um, overall it's pretty it looks really really nice. I can see everything clearer Trying to fly cause I'm light as a feather So since I used the water and Dawn on the window, I decided to go ahead and scrub down my dining room table with this too. It needed a good scrubbing. Sometimes it gets a little out of control. You'd be surprised. <laughs> it gets sticky and little like arts and crafts and glue and all kinds of stuff sticks to it. So I just scrubbed it down really good and wiped it clean and it worked fine. Does it all become for granted with a wedding?
All right, so now moving into my bedroom, I'm gonna quickly make my bed. And I had a few questions, um, people asking where I got this blanket, and I actually ordered this one from Amazon. I believe it was $44 for a king size, and we love it. It's a very lightweight blanket, but it's warm enough, that way if your air is down low, you don't freeze. Um, but I love that it's furry and it has that texture to it. I think it looks really beautiful. I will link it below for you in case you are interested, but I'm going to go ahead and finish up cleaning my floor, get my dresser and everything cleaned off, wipe down, um, and do all the normal cleaning things for this bedroom. Whenever I'm with you, I am alright. There's something about the way you make me feel inside. I'm counting down the days till we fly away. Heading to the sun, only you and me are. Oh, don't wanna waste another day being stuck here in this place. No. Oh, wanna hold you on the night, watch the sunset in your eyes. Baby, I wanna still act like we are 22 right now. Check it out. I found the Sprayway glass cleaner. It was in my room. After all, I didn't realize it was in there because I usually am really good about putting the cleaning products back underneath the kitchen sink, but I didn't this time and I thought I lost it. But I'm using it to wipe off the dresser, the um, TV, and I'm also going to clean the window. All right, so now I'm gonna tackle some laundry for the next couple minutes. So if you have a load of laundry, go grab it and we will fold together. Um, I actually had three loads of laundry to do. I got a little behind. I had all my husband's clothes I washed separately, so most of these are his, but just a few of the kids' clothes. And I'm getting those put away really quick. And then I'll go grab the other load. And this was the best way for me to do this today. Instead of piling all the clothes up in one large pile, I decided to do it in sections, just one load at a time. And um, I also always have the kids help me out too. They love to put the clothes away. It's their favorite thing. They don't always put them where they belong, but I don't mind as long as they're in their drawers and not on their floor. <laughs> so... I'm not very strict about their drawers being perfect or everything being in its place as long as they're clean and, you know, there, that's all that matters to me. Now, with that being said, I know not everybody will run their household like that. That's just what works for us, and I always encourage you guys to do whatever works for your family. If you're someone who has the laundry folded and put away perfectly, that is wonderful. If you are someone like me who lives out of the laundry basket for a few days, that is wonderful too. We are all just doing the best we can, and that's all we can do. All right, so if you're listening to this portion of the video, please do me a favor and just take a moment to comment down below what is the one household chore that you struggle with the most. And what I'm gonna do is in one of my next cleaning videos, it might not be the, the um, one right after this one, but maybe the following, I will do a dedicated video to all of the areas of the house 
that all my subscribers struggle with. I'll try to just incorporate as many of them as I can in one video. So something that I struggle with other than laundry is cleaning the baseboards. I am the world's worst about getting down there and scrubbing those things. They are filthy, full of dust, and I'm sure they need to be scrubbed. Um, so that is something that I don't usually think about cleaning. And when I do think about cleaning it, I'm just like, eh, I don't want to do it. So <laughs> let me know in the comments below what is something you struggle with. And I think it'll be a great video. Not only will it be motivating, but it'll also help each of you out very specifically. So that would be cool. Um, but anyway, I'm going to finish up this laundry and stop talking so much and play some music for you. About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Take my hand We'll make it somehow We can't miss out I'm done living life With the lights out Die with my own doubts Y'all, today is a rare day. I am actually sweeping today instead of vacuuming. I hate vac, or I mean, I hate sweeping. I love vacuuming the tile. It's just so much easier than sweeping and throwing all the dirt and dog hair around, in my opinion. But today, I really wanted to get up underneath the um, kitchen cabinets all against the baseboards really good. So I decided to whip out the broom and just sweep. I just like the lazy way. I like vacuuming. It's so much easier. My best friend didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends. I'll be in fools, drift in the deep space. So brave and so stupid, just like the movies. How it's gonna stay in the fight with you. Just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it. Each and every high, every night with you. You and me so clueless. I'm going to finish off today's video by Swiffering the floors and inside of my little Swiffer is actually Pine Glow and I ran out right here. I didn't realize that the bottle was already empty. So I'm going to quickly fill that up and I'll show you the Pine Glow that I'm using right now. I picked it up recently. It's the orange scent. It smells really nice. I like it a little bit better than the lemon scent recently so I've been using that. Um, so I'm just, I just pour like a little splash into it and then fill up the rest with water and that's what I'm go going to mop the floors with today. Walk through the 
Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a whole house clean with me. I'm just going to be working on tidying up from this past weekend. The house got a little, you know, a little messy, not really too bad. It's just things are just out of place. So I needed to tidy up, clean up my master bedroom, and I decided to also include a Dollar Tree haul into this video just because I had one and it was a little bit of cleaning supplies, so I figured I would just share that real quick. But first, I'm going to go ahead and make my bed. There's something about the way you make me feel inside I'm counting down the days till we fly away Heading to the sun, only you and me Okay, so here I have a random Dollar Tree haul. I wasn't going to include this in today's video, but I figured why not make it interesting. So I got a few solar lights here. These are the spotlight kind. I got a loofah sponge. Um, I did buy two packs of these eyelashes, but I already wore one of them, and I love them. Definitely look at your Dollar Tree and see if they sell these, because they are great. I got a new Glade Radiant Berries, little pop-up scented, what are these called? Pop-ups? Air freshener? Whatever it is. I love this scent. This is the only one they had. If they had more, I would have bought more, but I like to put these in the bathroom or the closets just to kind of keep it fresh. I also got some of these copper um, sponges to scrub the oven out because it's bad, super bad. I need to scrub it out, so I'm hoping um, these work and don't scratch, so we'll definitely try those out. They accidentally sold me this. I did not purchase that. I didn't want this. She rang it up and put it in my bag anyway, which was super random, but I'll use it for something. I also got a new duster. I like to use these for like around the house, quick dusting. More solar lights here. A little spray bottle. I really liked the way that this one looked. I thought it was cute and I need it for my daughter's hair or my hair if I need to just make it damp or anything. I got a little soap holder for in the shower. Um, a little sponge here. I love these baskets when I walked in. They definitely caught my eye. They're one of the prettiest baskets I've seen Dollar Tree sell. So I went ahead and snagged them. This was the only ones they had left. They had four of the big ones and then I just bought four of the little ones. I like to use these in the drawers underneath the cabinets and I prefer this color over the white. And then I also got the kids each a little random toy. Uh, that way when I'm cleaning and I'm, I'm busy, it'll give them something new to play with and they always enjoy that. All right, so I'm just finishing up my bedroom here, and that I was just pouring a almost empty bottle of water into my plant over there in the corner. Anytime that we have like, extra bottles of water, I always try to remember to water it. Um, so it's doing really good. It's thriving over there, and I usually kill plants pretty quickly, so I'm very surprised. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to vacuum the floors really quick, and I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who left a comment on my last video letting me know the speed of the video that you really liked, um, because it does help me make decisions when it comes to my cleaning videos and how I edit them and stuff like that. So thank you for all that feedback. All right, so the master bedroom is all clean and vacuumed. Bed's made, looking good, except the laundry here, but I wanted to explain kind of what happened just so this hopefully doesn't happen to you I actually recommended this laundry soap and I feel really bad now because I'm I hope that none of you had the same experience I purchased this Tide Simply Clean I'll leave a picture of it right here on the screen um, and I loved the smell of it the first time I bought it it smells so good and I even saved the first bottle because there was still some soap at the bottom and I like to pour water in it and use it all up 
and the smell of the first bottle compared to the second bottle I purchased is completely different. I don't know if they did new ingredients or something, but it smells horrible. My clothes smell musky. All of my clothes. Um, and this is the second load. My husband actually washed one of these, and he didn't know that I didn't want to use that laundry soap anymore. And even when he washed them, we switched them over right away when they were done. They smell as if they had sat in the wash machine for three days and then switched them over. Absolutely horrifying. And it's not my, my wash machine. I was thinking, well, maybe my wash machine needs to be cleaned out. It's not. My wash machine smells fine. It is the actual laundry soap. Because I switched our laundry soap back to the Arm & Hammer with OxyClean in it. It's the fresh scent. That is hands down the best laundry soap, I feel like. It doesn't break me out. Plus, I wanted to add, the Tide started to irritate my skin again. I was fine for about a month or two, and I started to notice that my um, skin bumps that I get from sensitive skin are getting worse, so I think it's from the Tide. I will not use it no more. Um, and that is the Liquid Tide, not the Powder Tide. Powder Tide I've been using on my floors, and it's been fine. For some reason, the Liquid Tide is just not it for me. Moving on out to the main living space, I am going to just pit, pit, oh my goodness, <laughs> I'm going to put all of this stuff where it belongs. We had random stuff all over the island, the kitchen table, um, we had like a busy weekend, and we were pretty much in and out of the house all weekend long. Saturday we were gone all day, it seemed like, and we had an amazing, amazing weekend. Um, my husband and I actually had a date night, which was much needed. If you don't follow me on my main channel or on Instagram, I mentioned there were some, you know, family health concerns going on with a family member and thankfully things are looking much better. Very, very happy and thankful for that. Um, but it was a very stressful week. I had a lot on my plate. I was trying to get work done plus, you know, be mom, be a wife and take care of things outside of the house. It was just pretty stressful. So I got behind on work and I decided, you know what, I'm already behind. I might as well just take a few days off, enjoy my time and just, you know, kind of recoup. And that's exactly what I did this weekend. My husband and I went up to the camp, which is my dad's side of the family. They own a large piece of property and I've been going up there since I was a baby. So we just go out there and ride around through the woods and just hang out and have fire and just, just chill. It's a very, amazing place and I share it a lot on my Instagram so if you're not following me there and you want to see some you know scenery beautiful woods and just I always share the cows I love the cows <laughs> so if you want to see all that make sure you follow me there and other things of course I don't just share I share more than just the camp but anyway um what am I where was I going with that conversation I don't know where I was going with that but I just wanted to say that sometimes, you know, things happen in life and they get super stressful and you got to find a healthy balance between, you know, work and living your life and having a good time. And I think sometimes when things like this happen, they are kind of like a wake up call of how short life can be and how, you know, you just tomorrow is never promised. So I encourage you to do whatever it is that you have been wanting to do. Do it tomorrow. Do it today. Do it whenever you have that little bit of free time because it will be totally worth it and you deserve to do that. About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out I'm done living life with the lights out
You better run. You better run. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and work on vacuuming the couch. I try to do this at least once every week or basically once every two weeks, if that. Sometimes I don't even do that. <laughs> I don't know who I'm trying to lie to. Um, I like to try to get this done once a week or once every two weeks. It doesn't always happen, like I said, but this is something that's really important because I do have dogs and I do let them on my couch. So if I don't vacuum it and I don't keep up with it, it'll start to smell, which then makes it even harder to get rid of the smell. So keeping up with it is better than letting it go. Um, so if you have, if you can, try to do this once a week at least. I, I slack sometimes, and that's okay. I'm getting it done today. I don't really need a new friend, so spend your time with me. Looking for someone who can play, though. Want to hang with me? I'm not really looking for a friend, so spend your time with me. Looking for someone not afraid of. Give it all to me. Get next to me, get next to me. All that I want is to get next to you, get next to you. All right, so I'm just putting this side of the couch back together. I'm going to finish vacuuming these cushions and then move to the other side. Now, I wanted to share with you something that I use to keep my couch smelling really fresh. And it might sound a little odd, but I take dryer sheets and rub the couch down. This makes the couch soft. It also makes it smell like fresh, clean laundry. And you will be so surprised at how dirty the dryer sheet will be whenever you're done wiping the couch down. I do this on the back of the couch, too, and it kind of just picks up the dust that's on the couch. Um, you know, just like your whole house gets dusty, so does the couch. And the back of the couch will get dust on it. And you'd be surprised after rubbing it down how dirty the dryer sheet is. If you don't believe me, try it. Just go on the back side of your couch, rub it down, and look at the dryer sheet. <laughs> it's going to be dusty it's gonna have dust on it it'll collect the dust and it also makes it smell fresh at the same time so that's what I like to do I also like to use the carpet sprinkle that you can buy from Dollar Tree I think it's um I, I want to say it says love my pet or something like that I can't remember the exact name of it I'm out of it because I do like to use it for the couch for the carpets just every now and then it's not something I use on a regular basis but I do like to use it to freshen everything up Got an ache inside of me It's a deep hole where I bleed Oh, can I see you there? You're like an ocean without land Not a single grain of sand I'm drifting on it All right, so I'm just sprinkling my son's bed with some baking soda really quick. And while that sits for a little bit, I'm going to dust the living room. Um, coffee table, this table gets filthy so fast between, you know, just, the, you know, us walking by it and stuff and the dogs jumping around. Um, dog hair flies up on it. We get dog hair up under here. Even my dog Zoe, she lays under here because it's nice and cool and it, gets gross so I needed to wipe that down I also needed to clean the window again if you watched my last video I went through and cleaned all of my windows and look how dirty they are again it doesn't take long the dogs like to put their nose up to the window when they're laying up here on the couch and even the kids they put their hands on it and stuff so this is literally a weekly occurrence for me but after getting that done, I'm going to vacuum up my son's bed, and his bedding was still being washed, so I didn't get around to filming that today. It was like super late before I got his bed made. Um, but as soon as I'm done in um, his room, I'm just going to vacuum really quick, and then I'm going to move to my daughter's bedroom and do a quick tidy up in there. Oh, it's the last thing that I need. Want to feel something that's real.
Okay, so I'm in my daughter's room. As you can see, I just made her bed and I'm vacuuming a little bit and then I'm going to clean up a little bit and vacuum some more. <laughs> I don't know why I clean like this sometimes. It makes zero sense. And it's funny because in the moment, I feel like I'm doing a great job. You know, I'm like, oh, I'm getting things done. But when I go to edit my cleaning videos back, I'm like, why did I do it like that? Why did I vacuum, stop, clean up a little bit, vacuum a little bit more? Why didn't I just clean up and then vacuum the whole room? I don't understand it either. My brain works in the craziest way sometimes. Now I'm just going to do a quick little spot mop on her floors using some Pine Glow and the orange scent cleaner. And I'm also just using a Swiffer with an old microfiber cloth on the bottom of it. And this works great. I do this on um, those days where I don't want to whip out the big mop. And this just kind of does a quick little clean on the floors. All right, so moving on to my favorite part of today's video, I'm going to mow the yard, and I swear there is nothing better than watching a time lapse of someone mow the yard. It just is so satisfying. I've been dreaming so much lately about your face when you're smiling. It's the only thing that saves me mm -mm. Hey, I don't know if I told you That I think you're beautiful And how oh, I can't wait to hold you Yeah, you pull me up when I'm falling down And I don't know what I would do without you Yeah, you pull me up when I'm falling down All right, so now that I got the yard mowed, I'm gonna go ahead and just quickly clean off the patio and use my blower to blow off all the grass and, you know, just do a quick little cleanup. That way the yard is completely done. Tell me what you wanna do right now. Tell me what you wanna do tonight. I really don't care as long as I'm with you. Okay, so just as a bonus, I figured I would share us cleaning this cooler, and I told my husband as soon as he turned on the water, I said, I should have been filming this. This was so satisfying because this cooler was absolutely just filthy, so nasty. You would never 
ever in a million years want to use this cooler for drinks had you seen it before. Um, so he just sprayed it down with Dawn and he's scrubbing it down with this little scrubber that I picked up from Walmart months ago. I've been using it for my shower and I love it. It's like the perfect amount of rough but still kind of soft so you can get in those grooves. It's it's great. I'll link it below. Um, but there was a little bit of rust stains at the bottom, so we're using these little copper scouring pads to scrub out um, that rust and just using the Dawn Power Wash, and almost all of it came up. Nobody told me to settle down Day, nights, and late nights don't get All right, so to start today's video off, I'm just going to do a little bit of tidying up. Some days I like to start with small messes first and then work my way up to cleaning the bigger messes. For some reason, it always gets me motivated when I have a super clean house. It makes me want to clean other areas and declutter them as well. So I'm going to start just by wiping off the kitchen island, cleaning the dining room, and then I'm going to go outside and start cleaning out my car before it got too hot. My car was horrible. It was so bad. There were so many clothes, toys, trash piled up in there, and it desperately needed to be cleaned before the school year started. So as soon as I'm done wiping down the table, I'm going to head out there and get started on that. I'm laying down at the compartment. I'll see you in a while Cause this time I will choose you, yeah I'll choose You know exactly how to look like this Holding in a bag full of goods and needs I need a night like this So first thing I'm going to do is just gather up all the crap that's on the floorboard of my car. Oh my gosh, it's crazy how much stuff you can accumulate in your vehicle. We had like a whole week's worth of clothes in here and toys. <laughs> it's crazy. But I'm just going to, you know, shove everything in these book bags, any clothes, any toys that need to go inside. I threw in the laundry basket that I usually bring out when I'm cleaning up my car. It just helps, you know, carry everything in together. And then I'm going to obviously throw all the trash away.
now that I have all the toys and trash out of the car, I'm going to go ahead and start vacuuming it out. And I am using a shop vac that we got from Walmart that I love. Absolutely love it. It is the Heart brand. I'll have it linked below if you are interested in it, but it works great. We bought it, you know, shortly after my husband got his truck. It, his truck doesn't fit in the car wash, and we used to go and just use the free vacuums there, but since now we both can't go, he got the shop vac to clean out his car or his truck, and I love using it too. It works really good. I feel like it works even better than the car wash vacuums because you know sometimes when you pull through those then you always end up getting that one vacuum that doesn't have good suction power. <laughs> it always happens to me. So I prefer just to use my vacuum at home. I'm going to get the car all vacuumed out and then in just a little bit I'm going to wipe it clean. I don't know where she came from. Kinda turn me upside down. I just don't know what to do. I wanna spend the night at hers and bring her one of my t-shirts so it smells like her perfume. Now I really get what the love songs are talking about. And I just wanna tell her how I feel, scream it out loud. Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating and you can't stop looking at her smile, then you've been in love. That's how you know you've been in love. There's something about the way she laughs and the way she always dances when she thinks nobody sees. I wanted to quickly point out that since my car has all black interior, I feel like all the dirt and little, every little crumb shows up a lot more than it would if I had like a light gray interior or even a tan. But I will say that even though everything shows up, I love being able to vacuum out my car. And when it's vacuumed out, it looks brand new again. I really love that. And that's why I wanted to have all black interior, especially since I have young kids and you know there's lots of stains so I'm very happy with it. If you have a black interior car, you know what I'm talking about. Every little crumb shows up, and sometimes it can be a pain in the butt, but it is always rewarding when it's nice and clean. Oh, and I wanted to also say that in just a moment, I'm going to be vacuuming out the trunk of my car, and somehow... I thought that I hit the record button but didn't, so I lost all the footage of me cleaning out my extremely messy trunk of my car. This is the only little clips that I have, and I, I don't know what happened there. But this is the first time that I have seen the bottom of my trunk <laughs> in like over six months because I've had so many donation things in here and finally I got rid of all of it and I feel so much better to be able to open the trunk of my car and not be embarrassed if someone walks by. I tell him, baby, please don't go. I think you should stay with me. And I, I really get what the love songs are talking about. Oh, and I just want to tell her how I feel, scream it out loud. Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dream? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and wipe the car clean. I'm just going to use some Sprayway glass cleaner to clean around the radio and then just use the microfiber cloth to just kind of pick up any of the dust that's on the dash or the console area. And this worked out great. And you're sweating. You can't stop looking at her smile. Then you've been in love. That's how you know you've been in love. said some awful words and I know that we both got hurt but I want to be with you I want to be with you we can't let this slip away you know that I want you to stay cause I want to be with you I always love a good before and after so here's how the car looked before and this is what it looks like now and I also am going to run through the car wash really quick just to do a quick wash on my car and just a quick little light flashing warning right here. 
Now that my car is all cleaned out on the inside and washed, I'm going to go ahead and clean behind my couch. This should be done way more than I do it, but you know, sometimes I just don't like to do it. <laughs> so I'm going to pull the couch out. This thing is so darn heavy. It takes everything I have to pull this couch, but I got it moved even though I kind of wrinkled up the rug a little bit. Just enough to where I could vacuum behind there, mop, and then in just a little bit I will be shampooing that rug as well. You have your doubts, I wanna be with you Don't you wanna be with me? Think about you night and day And I just want you here with me I wanna be with you You know it is the truth Don't run away, we can let this go to waste I don't want nobody So after getting the floor vacuumed, I'm going to quickly just dust the baseboards. Also using my little stick vacuum. I will be sharing this soon in a video. I am working with a company with this new vacuum. I'm super excited about it because I have been loving it. Um, but I don't want to share too much information just yet. So please bear with me. This is my first um, vacuum sponsorship I've ever done in my life. So I am a little excited about it. And I also just wanted to test the product out a little bit longer to make sure that it was something I felt comfortable sharing with you guys and also, you know, being sponsored by a company. So stay tuned for that. Um, but I'm just going to suck up all these random spiders that are back here and all the dust bunnies because, yeah, we do get that kind of stuff around our house too. It's a normal home. I'm sure everybody has a few little house spiders. So if you don't, please let me know how you're keeping them away because we have tried everything and every single time I pull this couch out, there is some type of spider. I don't know why. But now I'm going to go ahead and take my Swiffer. And these are these little Swiffer pads that I pick up at Dollar Tree. I love them. They work so good and they're washable. So you can't beat it for a dollar. And I'm just going to quickly Swiffer this area and then I will move on to, I'll move the couch more now that no one's going in and out of the door and I'll get behind the other couch as well or the other side of the sectional. Never up, never down, never like a flame in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feels so right then I'm So I'm actually going to clean the window first. I forgot that I did this, but the window right here gets so dirty really fast because my dog Zoe likes to lay on the back of the couch and she will press her nose against the window and just stare out the window all day and it gets full of little nose prints. So I'm going to wipe that down using my favorite glass cleaner, the Sprayway Foaming foaming glass cleaner. Why did, why does it sound like I'm repeating myself so much today? <laughs> the foaming glass cleaner is what I'm using. And my window also drops in, which is super cool. Um, a subscriber of mine actually told me about this. I had no idea that my window did this and it is a lifesaver. So I'm going to clean the inside and the outside of the window, get that all done. And then I will work on the other part of the sectional.
All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and shampoo this rug. I'm gonna start with the areas that are covered by the couch first. That way I can get these done and then slide the couch back over it. Now I'm using the Hoover Smart Wash Pet Complete Shampooer. I've mentioned this in previous videos and I really, really love it. I do think that it could have a little bit more suction power. I feel like it doesn't get the carpet all the way clean, if that makes sense. Like it doesn't go deep enough into the carpet. It's almost like it doesn't have enough suction power to, you know, get it wet enough to soak it all the way to the bottom and then suck all that water and detergent back up through it. I could be wrong, but I just feel like it's only getting the top layer of the carpet clean. So if you have dog stains or if you have a child that's being potty trained, I don't think that the shampooer gets deep enough for that type of stuff. My dog had an accident not too long ago, and I tried using the shampooer multiple times, but it just wasn't getting deep enough into the rug. So before you run off and purchase it, I would just definitely keep that in mind that it's more of that top layer clean. But it does do a great job. You can literally see the difference when I run the shampooer over the carpet, how clean it does come. So it definitely works great. I'm not downing the product at all. I'm just saying that if you need like a deep, all the way down to the padding type of clean, you're definitely going to want something a little bit more heavy duty than this. With that being said though, I will say that the top layer of my rugs was disgusting. I can't even believe how nasty they were already. It just, it doesn't take long. I do have three dogs, two kids. We don't always take our shoes off like we're supposed to in your house. You know, everybody's different, but I'm just saying we try our best to keep a clean house and I, or at least I try. And, and it always just blows my mind when I shampoo the rugs, how dirty the water is when I'm finished. I quickly wanted to mention a feature that I love about the shampooer is that it has dry mode to where you can turn it on dry mode and literally dry the carpet so that way it's not soaking wet. You know how sometimes when you shampoo things and they are so wet for a while you can't walk on it? This shampooer does a great job at sucking up all the water that it does put off and with that dry mode it also helps a ton. So that was great. We were able to put the couch back and I was able to walk around and finish up cleaning. Now that I have that knocked out of the way, I wanted to show you, um, this was in my daughter's bathroom. I had a shelf and a mirror behind the bathroom door and I wanted to get rid of it. So my mom came and got that. She's going to use that on her back porch. And then she also took a few other things that I was getting rid of, that rug, um, some perfume, a little bit of clothes and stuff like that. So I was just including a little bit of that footage here. To 
finish off this video, I'm going to do a little bit of kitchen organizing. Um, this is my kitchen island, and I now use it for pots and pans and clearly other random things that I throw in there. So it was time to get this cleaned out and organized. So first off, I'm just going to take everything out, wipe it clean, and then only put the things back in there that I want to actually keep in the island. And I just want to use this for pots and pans only. So here's a quick reminder how it looked before, and this is how it looks now, so a lot more functional and looks a lot better too. So then right to the right-hand side of the stove, I have all of my Tupperware stuff in this really tiny cabinet, but once again, it was super unorganized. So I cleared it out, I'm gonna wipe it down, and only put the things in there that I want to keep. Now the drawers right next to my dishwasher are catch-all drawers, just like every other drawer in my house. I feel like I accumulate things so fast and things get so unorganized, but at this point I've realized that that is just normal. It's life. It happens to a lot of people. So nothing new here. I'm just going to wipe it out, put everything back in there that I want to keep in here, and try to organize it a little bit better. After I got all the silverware put away, I'm going to go ahead and load the dishwasher up from dinner and, you know, just kind of get the kitchen back in order again. I'm also going to scrub the sink out really good using some Barkeeper's Friend. Someone recommended that I use it and I wanted to try it out on the kitchen sink. I recently used it in my shower. I didn't film it, but I did use it in the shower and it turned out so, so clean. It worked really well, but... 
it burned my feet, you guys. Make sure that you are wearing protection when you're using it because it is harsh. Like, it says that it's not harsh. I read the bottle and I even looked it up online. But I have sensitive skin and I darn sure didn't think it would burn my feet. But I don't recommend standing in your shower barefoot using it at all. Definitely don't do that. Learn from my mistake. And I'm only sharing it because I feel like it's really important and I wish that someone would have told me <laughs> that it's a little harsh. But... I didn't know, and you live and learn. So, anyway, learn from my mistake. But now I'm going to go ahead and rinse the sink out, get it nice and damp, and then sprinkle the barkeeper's friend on there. And I couldn't find my glove, so I just used any glove that I could find and a scrubber that wouldn't let my hand actually come in contact with the barkeeper's friend because, like I said, it's a little bit more on that harsh side. Um, but I'm just going to scrub out the sink, rinse it out, and once I rinsed it out, I felt like it left a little bit of a white residue still. So I just took some Dawn dish soap and scrubbed it out one more time. Who knows what you think about me? And I know I shouldn't care. I really tried my best, but I can make you happy. And I can't stop time for you. I don't know why. You know I tried the best I could I don't know how or what I could have done then. Baby, I really tried the best I could I can't stop time for you So today's video is going to be another back to school clean with me. I'm going to be tackling some things that I really wanted to get done before the school year starts. I'm also going to be doing some cleaning, organizing, and decluttering. So I hope you guys enjoy and I hope today's video motivates you. So I'm starting today's video off with mowing the yard. I absolutely love mowing the yard. It's always really peaceful to me. I don't know what it is. It's also super satisfying. So I am going to finish up mowing and then I'm going to start pressure washing the front of the house because it desperately needed it. Shaking from the urge of being with him I act a little dumber when I try to get his number I'm so nervous that I'm losing grip of myself Ah, my body's giving up on me Cause I don't know what to do with my fingertips Ah, I wanna run him through his hair But don't stare I get a little starstruck when I see him I couldn't hit him even if I tried So in case you were curious about the pressure washer, I'm not 100% sure where it came from. It is my mom's, and I do know that it's a Greenworks brand. It is a smaller one, so it's not really meant for big jobs like cleaning the driveway or anything like that. It took me all day to pressure wash this front sidewalk, the front of the house, and the back patio, which I'll share that in just a moment. But I do love having a pressure washer. I mean, I don't have one, but when I borrow my mom's, it's always nice. So I'll definitely be looking out for a good deal on one. If you have any suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments below because I feel like a pressure washer is just one of those, you know, one of those tools, items that I feel like every homeowner needs. I mean, even if you don't own your home, just keeping up with your sidewalks, your driveway, it's so important and it makes such a huge, huge difference in the way that your home looks. So 
I hope to get one really soon. I swear, this is the most satisfying cleaning that you can ever do. This is right up there with like shampooing the carpets. This is super satisfying. By the way, a pressure washer works great at cleaning rugs. If you just have small rugs, even big area rugs, if you have a driveway, pressure wash it. That's a little tip I have for you. I will actually be sharing that soon in a video. I have a few rugs that need to be cleaned. And for some reason, pressure washing just gets it way cleaner than a shampoo or ever would. Oh, and there's a bee. I didn't even notice that there was a bee on my camera until just now. So that's pretty cool. Um, but I'm going to move all this furniture out from underneath the patio, move the rug, and I'm going to pressure wash this because I wanted to paint it. I was going to be doing a full patio makeover, but as soon as I got done pressure washing it, I checked the weather. <laughs> And it was going to rain. It rained for the past three days after I did this. So all of my hard work was pretty much for nothing. Um, I, well, not for nothing. It's still clean, even though it rained. But my plan was to pressure wash it and then, you know, go ahead and paint it right away the next day. So that way everything was nice and fresh and clean. That didn't work out. So I'll most likely have to just quickly pressure wash it one more time before I'm able to paint it. But I will be sharing that over on my main channel if you want to make sure you're subscribed over there so you don't miss that if you're into DIY makeovers or anything like that. The next morning I got up super early and the first thing I wanted to do was sweep the floors because the night before I just didn't have the energy after doing all that pressure washing and I went to bed with leaves and dirt and everything all over the floor. I didn't even care and it was fine because guess what? It didn't go anywhere. <laughs> it's still there in the morning when I woke up. Um, so I'm getting that tackled really quick. I'm going to do a little bit of random cleaning and then we're going to get into some decluttering in just a little bit.
So this year, something that I really wanted to get under control is the amount of laundry that we have and figure out a good laundry routine because it's something that I, I have, feel like I've always struggled with. And what's funny, even when I was a kid, my mom used to struggle with laundry too. I remember there would be piles and piles of laundry in our laundry room and now I totally get it. I remember thinking to myself like, why do we never have any clean laundry? <laughs> and now I completely completely understand how hard it is to stay on top of it especially when you get behind then it's like the most daunting task so I have been staying on top of washing at least one load a day and I feel like that's easy for me to do we go through so many towels and just clothes with the kids being little and stuff still it, it takes no time to have a full load so I wash every day and as soon as I pull it out of the dryer I put it in the living room instead of my bedroom. I have done this in the past and it worked great and then I kind of fell off the bandwagon and started taking it in my bedroom again. I don't know why I would do that because then it would just sit in laundry baskets in there. So it's best if I pull the laundry basket right into the kitchen and fold it on the kitchen island or right in the living room because I'm more likely to get it done and put it away than if I have it hidden in my bedroom. But this seems to really be working for me. So if you're someone who also struggles with laundry, try that. Try bringing it to an area where you cannot avoid it. <laughs> Stick it right in your kitchen or right in your dining room and somewhere where you see it constantly and you cannot ignore it. Um, but now I'm moving into my son's room. I'm going to declutter his clothes, get rid of anything that's dingy and old. And the way that I like to do this is doing it in the drawers. For me personally, um, this is just what works and I wanted to share with you how I typically would declutter. I do it right here. I don't take all the clothes out and throw them on the bed. I've filmed it like that in the past, but I wanted to share with you the way that I actually do things. And I'm also going to do this in my bedroom and my daughter's room in just a little bit. So whenever I was going through all my clothes, I finally found my hot glue gun that I've been looking for for weeks upon weeks. <laughs> it was in my dresser. Why? I have no idea. But that's what I'm saying. I will just put things in the most random spot sometimes. <laughs> I don't know why it's so funny to me. But you know what I think it is? I think I just get so sidetracked trying to keep up with all the things in my brain. And I just can't. I can't physically do it. So random things end up in the most random places. And instead of grabbing them right away, when I do it, I just pile clothes on top of it. Because that seems like the logical thing to do. I don't know. I don't know why I do what I do. But I just do. And, you know, it makes it interesting. So... Welcome to my world. Um, but then this is actually where I keep all my bras and all my intimate stuff. So I didn't share me going through that and decluttering it. But I am sharing with you me vacuuming out these drawers because they have this belt lining and it gets full of lint and all kinds of random stuff. I don't eat crumbs, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I don't eat on top of my dresser, so I don't know what all is in there. But getting that vacuumed out and I'm going to show you the drawers really quick. So we have all of my leggings here in my sweatband that I wear if I'm working out. I also have all of my comfy pants. They're not super organized, but honestly, they don't stay anyway. I'm just trying to keep it, you know, sustainable for myself. And then I have all my denim shorts right here. I have a few black pairs as well. I should have I should have put the black ones over here. So I have my two black pair of shorts and then the rest of my, like, denim shorts right there. All right, so now moving on into my daughter's bedroom, I'm going to go through her clothes, and I'm also going to be separating her clothes for the seasons. She actually has a lot of long sleeve shirts or dresses that she'll be able to wear in the fall that will still fit her, so I'm just going to separate those from the rest of her clothes, and I'm going to go through these the same way. I just do it right here while they're hanging up in the closet. Where you go is where I go I don't need nobody else I got you And you got me too You can ride out the blue I wanna do what you want to We can leave and run away Someday
Now that I have went through everyone's clothes, anytime that I wash the laundry, I'm going to be keeping an eye out for anything that doesn't really fit the kids well or that looks dingy or maybe has like a stain or a hole in it. I'm going to go ahead and put that to the side instead of folding it and end up putting it back in the drawers. I'm so bad about that sometimes, like I'll notice something doesn't fit the kids, but in the moment of just trying to fold it, I am just trying to put it away as quickly as possible. I don't think like, hey, separate that from the rest of the laundry and go ahead and put it in a bag for donation. So I'm trying to be more mindful of that. And right there to my left hand side, that purple blanket and the few clothes that I have stacked right there, those are things that I have noticed that are getting a little snug on the kids or, you know, a little older. I've seen them out wear it. So I'm going to go ahead and separate those and put those in the donation bin. So a few weeks ago I shared a bathroom makeover on my main channel and I did a little bit of you know deep cleaning in here and I totally forgot to share some of this footage so I thought I would just quickly include it into this video as extra motivation. Um, I had a shelf that was right here and of course dust and all kinds of things accumulated back here so it needed a good deep clean so I'm just cleaning the baseboards, wiping the walls down and then I'm going to declutter underneath the bathroom sink. If you are somewhat new to my channel, you probably didn't even know that we had a second bathroom because I hardly ever use this bathroom and I really very rarely film it when I do clean it because it was just always so plain. It had become a catch-all for all of our things. It was like basically a storage room and I finally just got tired of wasting space in my house. My house is already on the smaller side and I wanted to utilize every square inch including both bathrooms. So I decided to do a full makeover on it. I'm also decluttering it and making it a lot more functional. So after going through all this stuff, I was amazed at how many things that I hadn't touched in months and I went ahead and parted with all of it. Well, not all of it, but most of it. I got rid of a ton of stuff and I'm super proud at how empty the bathroom sink ended up being. And doing things like this, it really just inspires you to keep going and keep decluttering because there's nothing better than being able to open a cabinet and it be clean, clutter free. And the fact that you can actually find the things you're looking for is game changing. <laughs> Obviously, it's, it sounds so simple until you start living in your house and you just accumulate things over time and then you're like, oh, I have to declutter and you don't feel like doing it. I know. I feel you. I get it. I feel the same way. Decluttering and organizing is not something that is on my top priority list. So things tend to get out of control and I'm trying to be more mindful of the things that I'm purchasing, the things that I'm bringing in my house, making sure it's items that I'm actually going to use that aren't just going to collect dust underneath the cabinets. I truly believe that trying to be more minimal starts with less buying, but I know how hard it is in the world we live in today where everything is commercialized, like everything. You can't even get on Instagram without seeing swipe up links every five seconds, you know, and it's easy to get sucked into buying new things and trying new things and next thing you know we have an accumulation of all this stuff that we don't actually use and I've definitely been trying to cut back on spending on unnecessary things.
so here is how the vanity looks now. It's much more organized. I have this whole side. I can stack towels up here or toilet paper, whatever I want. But um, I have all of our hair stuff right here in this bin, so it's easy to find. I don't have to like search for anything in the morning. I love that. <laughs> I also have some extra products back here. Hair tools, kids' toothbrush and toothpaste, um, perfumes. And then I have nail polish and extra hair dye back there, but that's it. And it looks so much better. It feels better, too, to have all that cleaned out. And then over here, we have a bunch of stuff that does not belong in this bathroom. That lotion needs to go in my husband, or in my bathroom. And then we have peroxide and stuff that belongs in the cabinet with all the medicines. This is all garbage. We have two extra bins here now that I can use for something else. And I have all these things that are good products that I can give to somebody. I have brand new perfumes, um, all kinds of good stuff in there, hair supplies and that. So I'll be giving that stuff away, but yeah, feel a lot better now that I went through that cabinet. So earlier when I was going through my daughter's clothes, I stacked them all right here on top of her little table and I totally forgot to bag these up. So I'm just going to quickly bag this up and also throw away all the trash that I had stacked right here as well. Alright, so that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you got lots of motivation today. And don't forget to go check out topinlife.com. I will have their links listed below along with my discount code that is carry 15 for 15% 15 off their entire site. I appreciate all of you being here so very much and I will see you in my next video. Bye y'all.